I'm Dr. Morgan Levine. I'm currently a postdoc in UCLA in human genetics and in neurobehavioral genetics, although I'm going to be starting an assistant professor position at Yale in pathology. My name is Steve Horvath. I'm a professor in human genetics, and I recently developed an epigenetic biomarker of aging. And today we will talk to you about our application of this epigenetic biomarker to study Alzheimer's disease. And Morgan is the first author of a paper. So we had data from the Religious Order Study and the Memory and Aging Project, where we were able to measure the epigenetic age of these individuals in prefrontal cortex. We also had measures of neuropathological load and longitudinal measures of cognitive functioning. So what we're interested in looking at is whether the epigenetic clock was predictive either dementia status or these different neuropathological markers, and also whether it mediated the association between cognitive decline and neuropathology. So this was a collaboration with David Bennett and Aka Lo, and our paper is entitled The Epigenetic Age of the Prefrontal Cortex is Associated with Neuritic Plaques amyloid load and Alzheimer's disease related cognitive functioning. And as indicated by the title, Morgan found that the epigenetic age in the prefrontal cortex actually relates to all measures of neuropathology and also excitingly to cognitive measures of uh, cognitive functioning. So one interesting thing that we originally did not find in the paper was that it was not related to diagnosed Alzheimer's disease status post-mortem. One explanation for this is that Alzheimer's disease is a multifactorial disease, so maybe it, it might not do as well picking up this kind of binary outcome, but it was really picking up the neuropathology associated with Alzheimer's disease. We are about to publish a second paper First author is Ake Lu, and the paper will be published in 2017 in Nature Communications, where we looked for the genetic underpinnings of age acceleration in the prefrontal cortex. And interestingly, we noticed that suddenly Alzheimer's disease showed a very significant association with age acceleration after correcting for the estimated proportion of neurons. But also, as Morgan indicated, Alzheimer's disease is rather complex. And disappointingly, we did not find a relationship between APOE4 status and age acceleration in the brain. You know. However, there's no doubt that AD per se is related to age acceleration. So it's complex. There's a, a certain types of AD um, show age acceleration, but others don't. And something we're going to hopefully work on in the future is maybe identifying other CPGs that might mediate the association between APOE E4 status and Alzheimer's disease in multiple brain regions. So overall, we and others have found that DNA methylation really does relate to Alzheimer's disease status. Our study is certainly focused on brain tissue, but people from other labs have found that even methylation in blood relates to AD status. You know. um, however, we never found that age acceleration in blood relates to AD status. However, in other publications, we have shown that age acceleration in blood relates to cognitive functioning in general, and never mind AD status. So somehow blood still does carry some information when it comes to brain-related cognitive functioning. But that holds for methylation data, for transcriptomic data, that statement may not be true. Yeah, and so in the future, we plan to extend this kind of analysis to many other brain regions. Here we focused on the prefrontal cortex because we had a large data set available, but obviously we would want to revisit this analysis in the hippocampus and other areas of the brain.